everyone. Welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some Dollar Tree gift wrapping ideas. I wanted to come up with a few affordable ways to help you to elevate your gift wrapping this Christmas season. I also came up with some ideas to help you with wrapping those items that might be a little bit more of an odd shape, a little bit harder to wrap. Items that you would normally stick in a gift bag, but today I wanted to show you how you can wrap them in wrapping paper and still make them look presentable. So I hope that this video is really helpful for you. All of the items that I used in today's video are from Dollar Tree except for a few of the gift wrap papers. I did get some on clearance last year after Christmas. I also found some at my thrift store so I'm using some of those as well but Dollar Tree does have a lot of options when it comes to gift wrap. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to share all of these gift wrapping ideas with you. I have been fighting sickness for a couple weeks now, so please excuse my voice. I will do my best to make it sound as normal as possible. I'm going to start off these tips by using some brown paper. I cut this paper long enough so that it could wrap around my gift, and then I folded in the raw edges, and then I placed it where I wanted it on the gift, and then I just used some hot glue to hold it down. You could also use some tape. Next, I'm going to wrap some of this ribbon around. This says Merry Christmas on it, and it's just some of the thin ribbon that you can find at Dollar Tree. Again, I'm going to use some hot glue on the back of this to hold the ribbon together. And then lastly for this gift, I'm going to use these DIY stickers. These are a thin wood and they do have a sticky part on the back of them. You could also use some hot glue to make sure that they stay in place. I really love this next idea. I picked up this stick from in my yard and I'm just taking some pom-poms that come in a pack from Dollar Tree and I'm gluing them onto the stick. I use two different sizes of pom-poms, the smallest and then the next biggest size. You could use any assortment of colors of pom-poms. You can also find these pom-poms at Hobby Lobby or other craft stores if you can no longer find these smaller ones at Dollar Tree. I'm going to add the stick with pom-poms to this gift. I like that it matches the wrapping paper and the berries on the wrapping paper. I just used some twine that I picked up from Dollar Tree and then I tied the stick to the front of the package, adding a bow to the twine. Next, I used some red truck wrapping paper to wrap a smaller package. I centered a truck on the front and then I'm going to add this little white tree that I picked up from Dollar Tree. You can also get these in a green color. I'm going to add this to the top of the package with some twine. I'm just going to tie it in place with a bow. I recently found this cream and gold ribbon in the floral section at Dollar Tree. They also had it in a silver and white color, and I thought these colors were perfect for wrapping Christmas presents. I tied the ribbon around the package, and then I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue just so that the ribbon sits down flat on this front part. I don't like how it was curling up a little bit there. And then next, I'm going to add some of these ornaments. I'm going to make a bow out of them. These are the smallest ornaments that you can get in the long tubes from Dollar Tree. I just used a piece of silver wire that I also found from Dollar Tree, and I wired six of the ornaments together so that they made a bow shape. I trimmed off the excess wire from the bow and then I added this to the top of my gift right at the center there where the ribbon meets. I just used the wire to hold it in place and then just so the bow would hold its shape a little bit better I used some hot glue to hold the ornaments together. I really love this donut wrapping paper that I found at Dollar Tree this year. This was one of the Hallmark wrapping papers and it makes the donuts look like they are little wreaths and I just thought it was super whimsical and fun. I'm going to use some cotton string and then these little alphabet beads 
to make a name tag for this gift. So I spelled out my daughter's name, which is Zoe, and then I added the beads onto the cotton string and then tied the string in place. I trimmed off the excess string and then right where the strings meet, I added one of these small red bows. It can be hard to wrap oddly shaped items like this one and sometimes you don't want to use a whole gift bag for just one item. So I'm using a brown paper bag and I put the item inside and then fold it over the top. And then at the top here, I'm going to use a hole punch to punch two holes on each side. You want to make them nice and wide because then we're going to use this ribbon and thread it through the holes and then we're going to tie it in the center. And you'll see as I'm tying the bow that it makes it kind of look like it's a bow. I'm just adding a knot in the center, but because those holes were wider apart at the top, it makes it look like a bow and you don't have to actually use the extra ribbon in order to tie a bow. And then I'm just going to use some hot glue on this snowflake and add that to the gift. I also wanted to show you these treat bags that you could also use for gift bags. Next, I'm using some of this wired garland to make a wreath. So I just cut off a portion of the garland and then twisted the two ends together to make it into a round wreath shape. I'm going to use this wide red ribbon to hold my wreath onto this package. This is a wired ribbon and you'll have to cut enough so that it can go once all the way around the package. Next, to add the wreath to the center, you want to set it down and then fold the ribbon around your wreath and so that it's holding it in place with that wired ribbon. So you can fold it around, push the wires down nice and tight, and then I used a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that this stayed right in the center and it didn't slip around at all. Next, I'm going to use one of these wooden ornaments and add it to the center of this snowflake package. I also used some twine for this project and I just threaded the twine through the wooden ornament and then I wrapped the twine around, threaded it through the ornament again and then brought it around to the back of the package, cut the twine and then tied it in a knot on the back of the package. When you have two different items that go together as a gift, but maybe they're different sizes, you can wrap them in two different coordinating wrapping papers and then just use some twine to hold all of them together. So that's what I did here. I just wrapped the twine around a couple times in both directions to hold these two packages together. And as you saw, one of the mittens on the mitten wrapping paper is a buffalo check, so these two designs go together really well. A fun addition to any gift is some twine and a candy cane. Next, I'm going to show you how to add some pockets to the front of a gift. I'm using this brown paper. I folded down the edge first so that there was no raw edge on the top of the pocket. I just wanted to make sure that it was completely straight and a fold is normally better than a cut. And then I'm going to fold this back and forth in an accordion style so that you can make these as wide or as narrow as you want them to be depending on how deep you want the pockets to be on the front of the gift and you'll understand how this all works in just a minute when I add it to the front of the gift but then also fold down the bottom of that as well so that there isn't a raw edge on the bottom and then I'm going to add these pockets around my gift to make sure when you cut your paper in the first place that it is long enough to go all the way around your gift. But you can see how it has the pockets here. Then I'm going to cut some of these berries from this little stem from Dollar Tree. I'm going to add those into one of the pockets. And then I'm also going to add a 3x5 card into one of the pockets to use as a gift tag. Gift boxes are great to use for items that are a little bit more of an odd shape. This particular gift box comes in a four pack. 
I wrapped this box in some plain red paper and then I'm going to be using these plastic beads. I picked out some of the silver ones to use to embellish this package. I also am going to use some really narrow string. You have to use some thin string so that it can fit through those beads. So I have this one here and I taped down the end of it with a small piece of tape just to keep the string from fraying at all and then I'm adding in those silver beads. I added four beads to one end of my string and then I added seven to the other. You could do whichever numbers you wanted to do, but I just thought that these numbers looked great and filled up the top of my package really well. Once you get the beads on the string, just turn over the package and tie a nice tight knot. And then I also added some tape over the top of these strings on the back to hold them all in place. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a gift bag out of wrapping paper. Wrapping paper is definitely cheaper than buying a whole gift bag just for one item. So I cut off a piece that is big enough to fit my item and then I folded it so that it meets on the back of the gift bag. It all lined up and then I taped it down in place. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold up the bottom of the bag and then you fold in the corner into a triangle shape so you're kind of pushing them out and folding them in and then fold in those extra flaps there and tape them down and as you can see here it comes out as the shape of a gift bag and then this is great for those oddly shaped items that you don't want to use a whole gift bag for. I trimmed off the excess paper from the top of my bag and then what I'm going to do is fold over the top of the bag and tape it down in the back. You could also use a hole punch and some ribbon like I did with the brown paper bag and tie it that way as well. Next, I found these really cute bow ornaments at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use some hot glue and add it to the top. For this next gift wrapping idea, I'm going to use a package wrapped in brown paper, and I tied some of this cotton string down the center of the package, and then I'm going to be using some of these pom-poms. If you can't find these at Dollar Tree anymore, you can get them from other craft stores. I chose to use some white and green pom-poms and these are the smallest ones in the package. I'm just using some hot glue to add them to the top of the package. You can add them along the sides of the package as well and I think that that would be really cute. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a bow using some wired ribbon. So what you do with this is you make a figure eight type pattern so that your patterned side of the ribbon is always facing up at you. You would twist each side. I did seven of these twists going back and forth and then I cut off the ribbon. Then I used a piece of wire in the center to hold this bow in place. Twist the wire nice and tight in place on the back of the bow and then you can go through and adjust each of the loops to make your bow nice and fluffy. You can move this around because of the wire in the ribbon. It's really easy to work with and you can fluff the bow however much that you want into whichever shape that you like. Once you get your bow looking good, you can add it to the front of one of your gifts. I'm just going to use some hot glue on the back of the bow to hold it in place. I really like these new chalk writer pens that you can find at Dollar Tree. I picked up a gold, white, and a silver color. They have other colors as well. I'm going to use the silver one to write on one of my brown paper gifts so that I can write down who it goes to. This is one of the gift tag ideas that I wanted to share with you and then I also found these little chalkboard clothespins and I used the white chalk marker to add a name to that one and then you can add that onto the front of a gift. I also picked up some of these chalkboard tags and I used the white chalk marker on one of them to add a little Merry Christmas tag. 
love these little white tags as well. They come in a 30 pack and they have a really great shape to them and they work really well for gift tags. So I just used a pen to write on one of these and then tied it onto the front of one of the gifts. Here is a recap of all of the ideas that I showed you today. There are a few more than 20, I believe, but I know I put 20 in the title. It's just a little bit more of a round number to share, but I really love all of these ideas. I loved thinking them up and researching different ideas that I could share in this video for you. I really hope that it has been helpful for you, and I hope that it has given you some affordable ideas that you can use. Let me know down in the comments which of these ideas was your favorite and one that you might use in your own gift wrapping this Christmas season. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you all next time. Bye!